Hey, how y'all doing? So in this video, um, should be a short video, and I'm going to be talking about the best way to go about studying ICT's material, okay? And this is actually a pretty common question I get, like, because something I see with many people is they're overwhelmed, right? Because ICT has so much information on here, so much, like, like just so much material to work through. Okay. So first, now I'm going to kind of give you, I'm going to give you my recommendation, but then somebody else, they could have a different recommendation, et cetera. Like there isn't, I can't say there's like a best way to go about studying it. Right. But first things first, though, let me just tell you about how I went about doing it. Right. I've watched about all of his content, except for, except for his later material, like his newest material. Um, so a lot of the newer stuff, but I'm actually working through that at the moment as well. Um, I didn't really even plan to, but you know, since he's, you know, he's leaving YouTube now and, you know, I figured I might as well finish it all off. Right. And just, you know, like just have the entirety of it just completely done and have that, um, that full education, I guess you could say. So other than a lot of the newer stuff, like the 2023 stuff, I've watched everything several times. Okay. Not just once I've watched his videos several times over. Okay. So how did I go about doing it then? Well, here's what not to do. So let me make this very clear. Here's what not to do with this content. And that is binge watch. So what I mean by that is like, say you just pull up, let's just pull up a random watch list, right? So you pull up the 2016. What you don't want to do is go in here and, you know, just watch it one after another. Like watch this one, you get done with it. Watch this one, then watch this one, then watch this one, then watch this one, like all in conjunction basically now i'll give you specific playlists to start with as well you know just kind of my recommendation okay you can do what you want at the end of the day but i'm just gonna give you my recommendation right but when it goes about how to go about studying this content number one is you need to take a piece at a time like and what i mean by that is don't even like even watching a full like playlist like this in like one sitting that's too much like I know you got the weekend, you get a lot of, you know, you might, you have more time on your hands. I still don't recommend watching all these videos at once. Cause you're not going to, what's the word I'm looking for. You're not going to keep that info, right? You're not going to, uh, keep a hold of it. It's not going to really get through your brain. You're not really going to grasp what is being told. It's going to go in one ear and then it's going to go out the next, because you know what we call that? We call that information overload because you're consuming too much at once. And that's not how you learn. And that's what you really need to understand this. And if you take away one thing from this video, let it be this right here. So pay very close attention. We don't learn by simply watching, by simply consuming material. We learn, yes, you need to watch it first to get that framework, but then you need to apply it. Then you need to go look for it. Then you need to go back test it. Then you need to go look for it in your real charts in real time. That is where learning occurs. You grab it from ICT's material, material, you look at this and you really pay very close attention to what he's telling you in these lessons. And you, you know what you do next? You go into your charts and you study it. And a lot of people, I, I'm telling you, a lot of people, they don't do this. What they'll, you know what they'll do? They'll watch it. Then they won't go into their charts. They'll watch it again. They won't go into their charts. They'll watch another one and another one and another one and another one. And they don't hold on to any of it because they're not actually using it. They are not actually using it. And that's how you obtain it. You got to do the thing to get the power. You got to use it to obtain it. Okay. So it's not enough to just watch. It's not enough to binge watch. You know, ICT uses the term like, um, I forgot what he said. He, he's, he said like, use it like net, don't use it like Netflix. And I'm pretty like, this is what he means. You need to actually use the info. You need to go into your own chart. You need to look for it. So what I recommend is max, you know, maybe watch like three videos a day. Cause I mean, even right now, that's how I'm treating his, like his newer material that I'm going through. I'm not watching, I'm like, I'm, wa I'm watching a few videos, you know what I'm doing next. And then I'm going to my charts. That's what I'm doing. I'm not trying to watch everything. Right. And this is what I did whenever I was starting off as well. Okay. I just, I would watch a few videos, like three or four, just, just stick with three. Right. Just stick with three, but I watched like three or four videos and I wouldn't just watch them once because with myself and I'm sure with many others, I don't really grasp the info the first time. I have to watch it again. And then I have to go into my charts and I have to actually look for it. Okay. 
And then, of course, you know, look in, it's important to see it in a real environment as well and learn how to utilize it in a real environment. And then once you fully mastered what's being taught, then you can go on to a few more. Okay. And while you're doing this as well, you need to be taking notes. Okay. Get that notepad, get it out, get a, you know, get a pat, get a pen and you need to be taking notes on all of this. Okay. So you real, and it's very, very important. Okay. You need to be, so, so far, what have we concluded? And I'm going to get to giving you specific playlists to start with, but even with those specific playlists, this is how you need to go about studying it. Okay. So we've concluded that you need to take it just a few videos at a time, a few videos a day, max. And with those videos, you need to be going into your charts. You need to be going and looking for what he's actually teaching in these videos. You need to be taking notes, pen and pad. You need to back test, look for it in old data, look for it in a real time environment as well. You need to be doing all of that. Okay. Cause that's where you're, you're going to really learn. You, you get the concepts then you use it and then you get the skill. That's how it works. If you just watch, you're not going to get anything out of it. If just watching it, you're wasting your time. If you're just doing that, you're not going to obtain any of it. Okay. So that's what you need to do. That's how I did it. That's how I approached it. Now, really when I started watching this content, I didn't really overthink it too much. Okay. I just jumped into it. Uh, like literally I opened up one of his, I just opened up a playlist and I started, you know, watching it. I just started watching and I took it piece by piece. And then guess what? I just kept doing it, kept doing it, kept studying it. And before you know it, I've worked through all the content. Then I went back and watched it again. That's how I went about doing it. So I think a lot of people, they overthink it. And, um, yeah, I mean, they just really overthink it. It just comes down to, um, but he, let's, let's get into actually my recommendation though. Right. So where would we start? Well, here's my recommendation. So let's scroll through and let me find it. So start right here. You see this playlist right here, ICT Forex, what every new or aspiring trader. Um, so you see this, that's the Wint series. So I like this because it gets your expectations aligned. All over on social media, all over on YouTube, there is a lot of BS out there. There's a lot of people selling false expectations, selling that dream. And what this theory does and what he covers early on in it is it gets your mind where it needs to be basically. Okay. And this is where like it really put into perspective of that 6%, 6% a month compounded over 12 months is a hundred percent on gain on your account. It's just basic math, but I never really grasped that until I watched this series. And that's where I came to that realization It's from watching this. Okay. Of course it's just, you know, it's very basic stuff, but you, I'm sure a lot of you can, can relate to this. You don't really think about it though. Like you just don't sit there and think about it. And it's like, Hey, uh, that's true. It really doesn't take that much. Just a little, like a few solid quality trades. And I can like, I can make a living. I can make a killing off that. And that's where I like watching this series did that for me. Like this series actually had a like a profound effect on my psychology. Okay. And so this is very important. I would start here first to kind of set a framework coming into it. Now you should always strive to be the best trader you can be. And I believe, um, you know, ICT made this series again, because he's making clear that it doesn't take much, right? You know, whether you want to trade for a living, whether you just want to supplement income, whether you like whatever goal you have for trading, whatever dream you possess with trading that you want to obtain through this, it can be achieved through these low hanging fruit objectives. It doesn't take much at all. 6%, 5%, 4%, 3%, even 2% a month. Like you, that's world-class. That's world-class, best of the best. You should always try to be the best you can be. And as you improve over time, of course, your average monthly percent gain, it's going to, you know, go along you know, go higher with it. And that's what this, like, that's what this series shows. Okay. You know, ICT saying it doesn't take much and you can, you can, it doesn't take much. That's basically, that's the, that's the message through this, through these, um, earlier bits in this series right here. And it gets the framework. So watch all the Wint series start there first. Okay. Piece by piece. Remember, then I want you to watch the market primer course, the market primer course. Okay. Another really amazing course. So again, you can see right here what new traders should focus on. That's right up your alley, right? Or 
of course not all of you are new traders some of you are just new to ict but this is still something you, you know you need to watch all this right and you can see we're talking about risk management right here got to know about that right essentials to market structure that's basic market you need to you need to understand market structure very important and then it talks about all the kill zones very important as well look at all this so this makes for a very good second playlist to watch it talks about power of three in here implementing the asian range the judas swing daily bias now oh, don't get overwhelmed though i'm not i'm scrolling through this and some of your heads are spinning like oh my god oh my god look at all this look at all this where did i start where did i start remember what i told you slow down slow down don't worry about all this right now he's talking about he's talked about a lot of stuff in here he talks about journaling he talks about so many different stuff swing trade and higher time frame concepts piece by piece that's how I did it. That's how I recommend you do it. That's the best way to learn. It sounds cliche, but slow and steady does indeed win the race. Okay, because when you rush it, you don't retain any of that info, and then you accomplish nothing, and like you don't make any progress. But if you just take it piece by piece, that's the quickest way to progress. Let me say that again. Taking it piece by piece and slowly is the quickest way to progress. And of course, as I was saying, utilize the info that's actually being given. Don't just watch it. You take notes. Utilize it. So, you know, start with, you know, just the first, you know, two or three videos. Watch those in one day. Take notes on all those videos and stop there. Don't don't push it. Don't push it. Don't, you know, I know, you know, some of you got that ambition. You want to work through it all right now. You're slow down slow down just watch a few and then come back tomorrow guess what you can watch a few more piece by piece and then guess what you watch a few more you're not worried about all this stuff and then guess what uh, before you know you work through all this and you're actually retaining the info that's being taught because you're taking notes on it you're looking in the charts you're actually utilizing the info and you're taking it piece by piece and then guess what you end you end off with this last video and you're like dang why did i overthink it it's just it's so simple you just that's like that's the key here a lot of you guys are overthinking this stuff and it's it doesn't need to be it doesn't like you don't need to overthink it you just need to take it one piece at a time so that's number two market primer course that's really good and again i watched every single of its earlier work i watched every single playlist and you could do the same if you want and then after you watch all the playlists and you do consume all the material you can kind of pick which model you like like if you just look at my trading, you can tell the 2022 mentorship had the most influence on me. Like if you look at my trading, you can clearly tell that's what I favor right now, at least. Like I got a lot like, and that's my favorite playlist from his. Why is that my favorite playlist? Well, because it's super simple, basically. It's the simplicity of that 2022 mentorship that really, you know, sold me. Right. Because like literally anybody, anybody can learn the 2022 mentorship. It's just it's so stupidly simple. Like it's not a lot of moving parts to it. And yeah, like it's it's just it's just um and that's where I always recommend. Like people always ask me, what's my what's my favorite model that he's taught on his YouTube? What is like what model do should I choose? Some people are going to gravitate to different models. Like I can't force you to trade a certain model. Like I can tell you, go study the 2022 ICT mentorship, which I've recommended to people, but some of you aren't really going to gravitate towards that. You might gravitate towards the silver bullet. You might gravitate towards, you know, turtle soups or something like that. Right. We like, we all like, I can't, we can't force you. Like I can't force you into a mode. Okay. But I can just tell you that that personally is my favorite and it's extremely simple okay it's extremely simple and i've recently looked into the silver bullet as well that one's extremely simple too like it's just super simple very straightforward not a lot of moving parts to it and what i know from my experience is simplicity works best okay simplicity works best because simple models are easier to execute that's why I recommend simple models. When you have a when you have a million different concepts at play, what happens is you get analysis paralysis and it becomes difficult to execute because you have conflicting signals and all this different crap going on. But when you have, you know, just one simple model, not a lot of moving parts, it's much easier to be disciplined. And that's also another huge part of building psychology. We talk about psychology and how important it is. Well, 
simplicity is a big part of that as well. Okay, simplicity is a huge part of building psychology. Don't let that go over your head. Really think about what I just told you. And it's because when you don't have a lot of moving parts, it's you don't get overwhelmed. You have very simple rules, very clear to find rules, and it makes it easier to execute. So that's why I like the 2022 ICT mentorship. That's my all-time favorite. But he has so much stuff on here, so many models that you can look through. So we talked about that. We talked about the uh, primer course and what next though. So, well, really, guys, um, like I said, we got different models in here. But also, I would watch, of course, got to watch the Market Maker series. That's what I would go to after that, to watch that Market Maker series completely. And yes, I would watch this, ICT, Forex, Scout, Sniper, Basic uh, Field Guide series, semi exact deal, piece by piece. You're going to watch these videos. And you might not need all these, you know, you, you, know, you might not need to watch every single playlist. If you feel like you got ample info, then cool. But, you know, this is the route that I would recommend to them. What do I recommend next? Well, let's find what's 2016 at. Yep, right here. Wait, though, that's month two. So you have several different months in here. But watch the 2016 mentorship. Okay, watch all the all months of that. Then after you finish to the 2016 mentorship, well, then what do you think you go to next? Then go to 2017, right? After you finish up all of 2017, what do I recommend next? Oh, and also this was, I actually forgot about this. Um. I forgot about this. This is another one. So let me actually make a little correction here. Let me just slide something in there, right? We talked about this one. And yes, you want to start with that. But for your second one, for your second watch or your second or first, doesn't really matter. You could just do either or on the first one. Uh, watch this one as well. This is very important as well. So watch this one. I forgot about this. Um, so if I could go my if I could go back and tell myself what I know now, so yeah, you definitely want to watch that, right? If you're a beginner, you're new to even new to ICT concepts, you need to watch this one as well. Again, this is like um, it's fundamental to building the psychology as well. So I know ICT is mainly uh, technical analysis content. That's what he specializes in, obviously. But he's got some. If you really like, if you really look into it, he's got some nice psychology stuff in here as well. And he, like Mark Douglas was my main psychology mentor, but ICT had a saying it as well. Like some of these videos, like I had some like light bulb moments that clicked for me, just like I was talking about earlier with that six per month, that 6% a month. I didn't, I never really thought about that until I saw that playlist and that's really where it clicked for me. So, uh, ICT had a, actually a role in, you know, building my psychology as well, but yeah, you want to watch that. So uh, slide that one in there as well. Okay. Then, so, so far, what have we concluded? Just kind of rehash so nobody gets lost, right? Right here, what every newer Forex aspiring trader wants. So the Wint series, okay? You need, you need to watch that. Then after you watch that, after you finish the Wint series, watch this. See that right there? Watch that one. Watch the Market Primer. All right, you need to watch Market Maker series. You need to Forex Scout Sniper Basic Field series. And then, of course, you know, with the other mentors, like you get to, then, you know, watch all 2016, then 2017 and you know 2022 right i'm just kind of throwing it out there i'm kind of giving you a framework for people that absolutely absolutely need something to work with right and then could you i mean you got other stuff in here as well like you got optimal trade entry if you want to experiment around that with you can um i love this series as well master high probability scalping this is actually if you with my with my main trading strategy right now at least okay I plan on adding a few more different styles coming into next year. But the strategy that I'm trading right now, um, with like in regards to the daily bias, a lot of influence from this series right here. A lot of influence. So you can go and you can see, if you watch the series, you can see the influence it had. Because it's just, a, it's a, so like, it's really on you. Like if you don't take the route that I outlined for you just right there, are you not going to learn effectively? No, not at all. Like if you just watch the videos, you take it one step at a time. It really doesn't matter what you start with, whether it's, you know, pattern, even if it's just like right here, pattern recognition, you take it one step at a time, then market maker. Like a lot of you guys do overthink it. It's not that like, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Just take it one piece at a time and then slowly work your way through it and study it. Right. But if you wanted, like for some of you, that just absolutely need that that recommendation from me well there you go that's what i would do okay and then just slowly work away slow, uh, slowly work your way through it and of course after you finish uh 2000 
2017. Then you can work to 2022 and study that. And actually, I'm working through 2023 right now. As I said, I'm just now studying his newer material. But that's basically how I went about it. Um, actually, I believe those were the series that I started with in here. Because um, whenever I was first starting with ICT, um, I was going through the playlist as well. And it's even even back then, even in 2021, it was a lot of material. And I saw those playlists and it just looked like a good beginner playlist. And it was. Or I wasn't really a beginner trader, but I was a beginner to ICT concepts, right? So that's where I started. And after that, it, that might have not been the exact, like the exact order I went in. And again, it doesn't really matter, but... um. Because I didn't, I didn't really overthink that too much. I just kind of went into, went into it and studied it uh, piece by piece. But that's how I would go about doing it. If you want that structure, then there you go. There it is. That's how I would go about doing it. And if you do that, you know, day by day, piece by piece, before you know it, guess what? You know, a few months down the line, you've already worked through so much content. You've already accumulated so much info. And, and there you have it.